Right, Lisa D, Lisa D, welcome in, welcome in. Sugar and spice, and if you're not new, you already know what it do, baby. You already know what it do, baby. Welcome in, happy hump day. Hump day. We are celebrating Juneteenth today, even though it's not till the Sunday. 19th, <laughs> but we're live on Wednesdays every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time, so mm -hmm. we're gonna celebrate today. So we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have a fish fry. You know, there's nothing like a black fish fry, <laughs> a black cookout. Like you already know how it's going down. <coughs> okay. So welcome in. We got um, we got people from Facebook, but for some reason, I won't show me who it is. Um, so apologies, but welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Um, we have Afro Mix. What's so, up, fam? We are doing well. How are y'all doing? You know, we always ask, what did you guys cook tonight? What was for dinner? You know, we always look for ideas and y'all be making some, uh, Good food. Oh, we we got some chefs. We got uh -huh. some chefs that rock with us. Right. Y'all be having these elaborate meals and be acting like y'all know what y'all want. I don't understand. Lonnie, what's up? What's up? What's up, Lonnie? Yes. Happy Wednesday. We are, yes, blessed and highly favored. Amen. Life's magical journey. What's good? What's up? How have you been? I know you've been a little MIA, so I hope everything's well. Hope everything's well and welcome back, fam. I'm glad you're here tonight with us. Uh so I'm gonna show you all some love. Oh. oh man, send her our love. Yes. Hope you feel better. We were um under the weather too a, a week or so ago, so yeah, we understand. <laughs> it's a struggle out there, and it's it doesn't seem to be getting much better. So that's crazy, man. Um, stay safe out there, guys. Um, stay healthy. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Everything. Like <laughs> all, all of that. Yeah. Don't don't let your guard down. We are still in a pandemic, and we're still uh, making strides to uh, make sure everybody is safe. So do your part as you can. And uh, we'll keep you prayed up. Where the blues music <laughs> for a fish fry? I know, right? If we, didn't cook, if we didn't get copyrighted, I'll play all kinds of stuff for y'all. Hey, you Just already know dances. what it do, baby. <laughs> we do all of that. People saying, hey, what's up, Moga family? Moga's in the building. How y'all doing? What y'all eating on tonight? We're about to have a fish fry. You already know what to do, baby. So um, let's go ahead and start with, should we start with our ingredients or the um, sure. drink? Um, we can go ingredients and drink. Okay. So, for our fish fry, we have a few different fish for you guys. Because we already know that what type of fish it is, people be arguing and trying to say that it ain't real fish and this and that. <laughs> yeah, everybody has their own fish preference, <laughs> what fish they like, and what's real and what's not. That part. 
you know how that goes so we have a few different ones uh if you can't find what you like then sorry you ain't eating tonight this so we have some catfish Hello, which is my favorite are huge so we got these from the market so they're like super fresh um <clears throat> so that's why they're like in bags like this but um we have some whiting see that we just got like two fillets of whiting i think yep. um and we got some grouper group group you already know what to do baby so uh y'all drop your favorite fish in the comments what kind of fish do y'all like? Like I said, catfish is my favorite um, fried fish. Um, but, you know, like my mom, she loves croaker. Uh, what kind of fish you want? I like, uh, I like a lot of different fish, to be honest. I don't mind a whiting either. Whiting is good whiting to me. Whiting is pretty good. Yeah. It's a cheap fish, but it's good. Some whiting, <laughs> some brim. I don't know. I, I grew up eating fish with my, uh, with my grandfather. So he was uh he was very particular. It was just whiting and brown for him. <laughs> um, but for me, I don't like to pick through them bones, fam. So y'all can call me whatever y'all want to call me. I like a good fillet. Don't give me no whole piece of fish and I gotta eat bread because it might bust my insides open and stuff like that. Because I ain't with it. How's it gonna bust your insides open? Because my insides precious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's definitely a fillet guy. I'm a whole fish guy. Lady, you got one. Oh, all right, all right. Um, man. Um, but you know, we have fillets tonight because shoot, that whole fish should be expensive. Yeah, you got, uh, you got <laughs> fight, fight. Um, and I know tilapia is like kind of like a go to for people because it's it's one of the less expensive fishes. But baby, if we would have had tilapia up here tonight, we would have got uh, rammed. <laughs> everybody would have had something to say. So right. guess what? We ain't have tilapia. Right. Until you make tilapia. Everybody likes tilapia until you make it. Then all of a sudden, it's the worst fish in the world. It ain't real and fish. Nobody ever liked it. Lord like, Jesus. Well, where did it come from? Because somebody was eating it for it to be everywhere. Oh. But, uh, let me be quiet. YSC! In the building. What's up? Bless. Good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, people talking, some hearts, okay. Uh, Rodney, Uncle Craig. <laughs> What's, What's up? Uh, all the way from the NC. <laughs> uh, Team Catfish, yes. All right, Rodney. Right. All right, Rodney. I knew I liked you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew I always liked you. Uh, Remind me later or tomorrow. There you go. Okay, sorry, I was having technical difficulties. Yep. <clears throat> uh, saying hi to people. What we drinking though? All right, so yes, we got another catfish, team catfish. Drop your favorite fish in the comments. What fish do you eat? What fish do you like to fry? Just or just name a fish that you know. How about that? <laughs> All right, so what we drinking on tonight? I got something. Eh, not special, but something interesting that I want to try tonight. Is that right? Um, so I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna tell you what he's gonna do. So if you guys rock with us, you know that I love a good dark beer. So for me tonight, I will be drinking dragon's milk. This, my friends, is a grown man beer. It's a grown man beer. So if you don't drink beer, <laughs> don't drink this. Um, 11% alcohol by volume. It's a bourbon barrel aged stout. Um, they only sell it four per uh, handle. So you got about four at a time. You can't have a six pack, you can't have a 12 pack, none of that. No 24 packs, but it's darn good, fam. Darn good. Yeah. Um, so y'all know like beer and like those strong bubbly drinks are probably the best to drink with fish. Um, and like I just like wings and stuff like that. Yep. Um, so we have beer tonight. Y'all know I like cider. So I will be drinking a cider with a beer. 
So, I heard about this today. I oh. learned this at work, which was coming up. <laughs> but I learned at work that <clears throat> there is something called a black velvet drink. A black velvet. I'm learning as well, guys. And you mix a cider with a Guinness or a dark stout. And you put them together. And it's called a black velvet. So, I'm going to try it tonight. Y'all will see it first here. And I'm going to put these together and see what we got. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm scared for you. What are you <laughs> pouring up it? And my glass. So, I got me a glass. Okay. All right. So, I don't know I was supposed to go first, but. I'm going to put my Guinness in. Is it tilted or something? Yeah. <laughs> Not a bartender, guys. So. Clearly. So do about half Guinness. You got more head than anything else. <laughs> it's a lot of head. Uh, that's what she said. Oh. <laughs> we just got yeah. banned from fake. Oh, uh, from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll put my cider in. Family, this seems like an interesting combination. I'm sure that she uh, didn't pour it right. Um, what do you mean I didn't pour it? I'm sure it ain't supposed to have that much head, but that's okay. What am I supposed to do? You both, aren't you supposed to like pour it out and everything? Okay, but it's a uh, a black velvet. Can I pour? It? Yes. So black velvet. Here's the taste test. Oh God. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much fun. It's like, it's like Guinness, but like with a little apple tint to it or something. It's interesting. So the cider, <laughs> the cider definitely comes through very heavy for me because you know I like a heavy tasting beer. Um, so it tastes very much like a cider. And it tastes more like a Guinness to me. It tastes, <laughs> it tastes like a, like a dark cider if there were ever was a thing. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can tell they're both in there. Yeah. Um. But to me, it tastes more like a beer, but with like an apple aftertaste. Like an apple beer. Uh, Isn't that a cider? No. <laughs> <not necessarily. laughs> All right. Okay. All right. All right. So that's our drink for tonight. Um, I didn't actually say the other ingredients. <laughs> um, we also have hush puppies. We got some jalapeno <laughs> hush puppies. Um, obviously, you don't have to have jalapenos in yours if you don't want. We got, so we're making our own homemade tartar sauce and homemade coleslaw to go with our fish. So for the tartar sauce, you need green onion, um, a dill relish, really dill pickles, but dill relish is easier. Um... Oh, mayonnaise, and I think they said hot sauce too, which is, was odd. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to have to look at the recipe because I'm kind of making my own recipe off of a recipe I found online. Anyway, um, for our coleslaw, you just need like a bag of coleslaw. Um, what else do you need for that? Mayonnaise, again, vinegar, preferably apple cider vinegar, but you can use white vinegar too. Um, salt and pepper to taste. And what else do we need? What do we need? I don't know. Yep. Uh, sugar as well. Mm -hmm. We'll be putting sugar in there. I think that's pretty much it. We're making a pretty easy, basic recipe. So. You should be able to replicate this at home with what you have in your um, fridge or cabinet already. Um, I think I'm gonna need mustard to. Do we have Dijon mustard? Uh, I think I need my tartar sauce too. I can check. But all right. So also our topic for tonight. We got the topic, baby. Is well, obviously we're doing the Juneteenth celebration. 
Um, but we're going to be talking about the progression of black people. Um, so feel free to chime in at any time. You know, we like to have good discussion and conversations over here as we cook. So feel free to chime in with um, anything you have to say. Um, and if you want to come up and talk, you can do that as well. Um, I'll put the link in the comments just in case somebody's come up and say something. You're more than welcome because we are celebrating tonight. Um, woo -woo! But as I do that, we're about to get started. Right, man? Yes, ma'am. Sharon, how you doing tonight? Hey, hey, hey. Um, sorry, all my comments just did some weird stuff. Um, hey, Shy, how are you doing? What you need that? Oh, he's going to fall better. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> uh, more eats. What's up? Um, if y'all haven't seen more eats um video with a review on spice edits, head over to her channel. She just did a review of our butter sauce, our lemon garlic butter sauce, and it was great. So go head over there, show some love to her, uh, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming in tonight. Uh, people saying hey. Okay, Sharon says she's seen catfish, so she clicked in. That's right, baby. Hey. We got some catfish tonight. Catfish is my favorite. Um, yeah, catfish is my favorite, so we got a lot of catfish. But we also have whiting and grouper as well. So we're going to be cooking a few different fish. Uh, just to keep it switched up in case people like different stuff. Uh, but, yeah. All right, fam. So I already turned our oil on. Got that heating up in the background. And I'm washing the fish now. Um. Yeah, Sean. So fried, like I said, it's catfish for me too. And then baked is, yeah, probably like a salmon or something. I heard trout was really good baked. Haven't yeah, actually did. tried yeah. it yet. We'll probably be doing either a video or a live on that because we got some trout. And I heard that it's really good and it tastes a lot like salmon. So we're going to be trying that. Real soon. Mm. Honestly, said, that's a big boy beer. <laughs> you talking about mine or uh, another one? <laughs> <laughs> Both of them are a little bit of hell, but. <laughs> um, all right, I'm probably cut these out. Um, they put, put me a coach. All right, y'all, here's our catfish. So these catfish are huge. I said you like flounder and Aussie mullet. I can get down with the flounder. Yeah, flounder's not bad. Flounder's not bad. I can definitely get down with the flounder. A lot of people who like catfish like um, swai too. I cannot get down with that. It's swai. just a little too um, <clears throat> slimy for me. I don't know. I tried but to bake swai so one time. And it was uh, it was built different. But built different, I mean it fell apart on me, fam. <laughs> oh, I don't think you posted that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, I definitely wasn't supposed to bake it. 
But uh, that's the beauty of cooking. I try all types of stuff. Lonnie said that black velvet going to have you jumping like a horse. <laughs> 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 yeah, if I fall out, y'all know what happened. Just, uh, yeah, that joint. That's, just that's, call the people. That's the concoction that you got there. Yeah, when I heard about it, I was like, Ooh, interesting. Um, but I'm trying it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> so fam i'm just cutting this fish down into more manageable size these catfish uh were absolutely huge to start um i'm also going to make a little concoction um i cannot find the eggs that i set aside or else I would have put some egg in here. Um, but that is what it is. You gonna let me use some of your, uh, your Texas pea, buddy? So I just found this Texas pea that's like a hotter Texas pea. Show them there. So it's called hot or hotter hot sauce, Texas pea. Um, so I was like, yeah, I gotta try that. What's your favorite hot sauce? Some people love Texas Pete. Some people be like, oh no, I'll never eat Texas Pete. Some people like Louisiana hot sauce. Yeah. What's other hot sauce? Some people like Tabasco and they don't like hot sauce. Uh, Tabasco different. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Tabasco. Just like straight vinegar. Just like taking a shot. Yeah. <laughs> so fam, I would say we have about two tablespoons of hot sauce and two tablespoons of um, mustard. I would have uh, put us a little egg in here as well as like more of a binding agent. But y'all already know what to do, baby. We make it happen with what we got. Yes, sir. So just the mustard and the hot sauce. That's why, see, you know we only do whole made around here. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely don't just do it. But where we can do homemade, because some of this stuff is actually very easy to make. And we be out here buying it and really you can just make your own stuff that you already yeah. have at home. <laughs> so, like, pretty much everybody has mayonnaise, some type of, like, relish or pickles, mustard, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Sometimes you can make stuff um, on your own, so don't be afraid to venture out and make some homemade sauces. Sure, y'all might see the sauce spice at it. It's good. Um, so we're also going to use the seafood addict breading mix. So um, we're going to combine uh, this mixture that we made. This is about two tablespoons of mustard and two tablespoons of hotter Texas peat. Um, combine that with some Spice Addict Seafood Addict breading mix. And again, you can find that on our Etsy shop. And the link is in the description. Those of you who are um, coming from Facebook, it's actually on Facebook as well at Shop Spice Addicts. Yeah, if you're on Facebook and you're on Spice Addicts page, you can just click the order now, right? Or shop. Or uh huh. And it'll take you directly to um, that Facebook page. All right, so I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to get that fork out of our way. And we're actually going to work through getting that on to the fish. It's actually getting better as it goes along. Is that right? I feel like it's been like, like it's marinated together a little bit better now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I'm going to do this the easier way, fam. I'm actually going to find us something to put all of this in. Then I'm going to put that over everything. All right. So let's get into our topic for tonight, which is the progression of the black community. All right, now. <laughs> We can't beat tonight. Let's see. <laughs> um, 
So with Juneteenth, if you don't know what Juneteenth is, it's okay. But, um, so Juneteenth is when the last slaves um, basically were notified that they were free. And this was in Texas. And um, it got down to Texas. Slaves are free now. And those were the last slaves that were freed on Juneteenth, which I don't know if the 19th was the exact day. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I've heard. Not a history buff for it, but if anybody <laughs> in is a history buff, <laughs> right. By feel all free to chime in. Let us know, baby. So, um, so yeah, so <clears throat> that is that was progression in the black community. Um, now we have definitely, you know, moved up in society. Um, so what I want to ask is, in general, how do you feel about black progression? Do you think that we have progressed? Some people think we basically still are slaves, um, that we haven't really progressed very much. Uh, how do you feel? Yes, no, maybe so, kind of, a little bit. In certain areas, not in certain areas. Pay what you think. <laughs> so I would have to say that we definitely are not um, where we were um, during, say, Juneteenth or anything like that. Um, so in that sense, we 100% have progressed. Uh, but there still are quite a few difficulties for my people. So to say that, you know, things are 100% hunky-dory, whatever, whatever, that would not be true. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I personally think that have we come very far? Absolutely. 100%. Like, I feel like you just... I mean, unless you just have been dealt a very, very bad card in life and, you know, you're really struggling, then I can see how you would think that we haven't. But in general, <laughs> looking at the country, I would say we have definitely progressed. Um, is there still room for growth? Absolutely. Um, we're definitely not where we need to be, but we're a lot farther than we used to be. 100%. Respect. So, Respect. I am appreciative of that. Um, Lonnie says she put onion powder and garlic in her tartar sauce. Okay. All right, Lonnie. So you've been making your own tartar sauce. Okay. I see. I see. Oh. Um, that is late. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> I think the coolest thing is that it's finally a national holiday. I celebrated Juneteenth since I was young. Oh, great. So yeah, some people were like, yeah, well, I've been celebrating Juneteenth. Like, I never celebrated July, uh, 4th of July. No, that's different, man. That's different. Which, that's my next question. Um, how do you guys feel about celebrating the 4th of July? Some people say they're not celebrating the 4th, they just celebrate Juneteenth. Some people say they celebrate both. Um, some people, I guess they don't really care either way. How do you guys feel about celebrating the 4th of July and Juneteenth? But yeah, that's great, Sean, that you were already celebrating it. Now it is a national holiday. A lot of people get off that day from work. Um, so like I said, again, I think that's progress. Thanks. So thank you, Lonnie, for dropping that uh, link. That's the link to our shop, and we're actually doing a 20% off sale right now, so uh, get it while it's hot. Yes, Sharon, 20% off. <laughs> she said, I'm going to need all your season. Um, okay, yeah, I heard trout was good. I haven't, like, I feel like I have had it before, but. Sure. I want to say it was like fried or something though. Like I don't remember just like baking it. I heard like baking it tastes kind of like salmon. Yeah, nah, and that's definitely so when I do it, fam, next time we cook trout, 
we are going to treat it just like salmon. And you already know what to do, baby. If we're making it, y'all there. Lemon pepper rainbow trout. Okay. Oh. I have heard of rainbow trout. I have never had it before. But that is going to be put on our list. <laughs> she said squad suspect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it ain't for me. Hey, it ain't yeah, for me. It's not. In the, in the, a lot of people are like, oh, it tastes just like catfish. No, sir. Nah, bro. <laughs> Some ain't quite right about it. Uh -huh. Nah, I can't even do it. Uh -uh. We, got, we got Louisiana hot sauce fans in the building. All right, Louisiana. Okay. I don't mind Louisiana. Yeah, I can, rock, I can rock with Louisiana. Tabasco built different, though. Yeah, Tabasco, I don't know. I prefer Texas Pete, but I, depending on what it is, I do like Louisiana um, hot sauce. Life said I have at least five different hot sauces in the house for different foods. Yeah, so like Let's I was just go, saying, right? depending on what you eat, you might use a different hot sauce. Um, so or Tabasco, I don't know whatever. Um, sriracha, okay. Yeah. Hey, okay. hey, now we talk. That's you. true. Like, now I don't know talk. where Sriracha came from. Like, all of a sudden, it just like. You know where Sriracha came from. Where did it come from? Asia? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, it seemed like all of a sudden, it just like blew up, and the Sriracha was like everywhere. Like, <clears throat> it was just like a normal condiment that you would see with everything else. <clears throat> like, ketchup, mustard, Sriracha. <laughs> like, where did this Sriracha go? What's up, Team Reese Travel? Hey, Team Reese in the building. You already know what it do, baby. Take me back out, Coach. Okay. Uh, hey. YFC said we've progressed, but there's still room for growth. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Um. Team Reese said, I love that so many people celebrate Juneteenth. For me, it's a reminder of how much of our history was not taught to us. That part. Mm. I didn't learn about Juneteenth until I was an adult. I feel robbed. Girl, me too. <laughs> yeah, I, um, shoot. It had to be like, I was like out of college before I knew that was even like a thing, which is absolutely terrible. But you know, they they be teaching the history they want us to know. Sheesh. And not the real history book. Who child again? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's uh it's crazy how it took a whole movement to all of a sudden now or something everybody know about you. Too. We have put in the work to build our community. I think we have left our values. I think we have financial growth. But our family structure has declined. Really? You think the family structure has declined? Yeah. <laughs> Man. Right, we gotta we gotta dig deeper into that one. Like whoever that was, babe. Lonnie. <laughs> Lonnie, Lonnie gotta Lonnie gotta give us more. Yeah, like how do you think that the structure has declined? I mean, I feel like I don't know, I think especially like the millennial age. I feel like a lot of black people are getting married now and having families and buying homes and that type of thing. I'm going to get into reading some of the statistics of like how things have changed. But um, I mean, I personally feel like I feel like, you know, we are trying to build more of a family structure. Um, I think it, we still definitely have quite a ways to go <laughs> and uh, a mentality to change, but um, I don't know. I think that um, I thought we was making progress, but now you got me done. <laughs> I, th I thought we were too, honey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> OMG! <laughs> But yeah, we definitely do have more financial growth now. Um, people are definitely, black people are definitely making more money. 
um, and making better financial decisions and actually sharing financial literacy with each other. Not sharing. Like, we have a lot more people sharing the knowledge in the Black community, uh, financial literacy and that type of thing. Um, I think we need to teach it to our kids, um, you know, because that's what they're doing in other communities. They hand down that knowledge of financial literacy to their kids because it's definitely not taught in school. So the only other way you're going to get it is if, if your parents know it. And before, as we were growing up, they didn't. So that's why we didn't make the best decisions. But we're starting to learn, and I think we need to start teaching that to our kids so they can teach it to their kids and so on and so forth, which will help us progress as well. Facts. Great. Said Tabasco going Bloody Marys only. Oh, no, baby. So who is saying Bloody Mary, baby? Lonnie. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I had a blood of mirror, I think, like one time, and I was like, oh, can't Lonnie, I can't do it. Lonnie, I can't do it. I was trying it. to be cute and, you know, the little celery in there and all that. Lonnie. And I was like, well, well can't. I can't. Tastes like tomato juice and. Uh -uh. <laughs> can't, hey, can't even do this. I can't even do this, fam. Um, if you just came in, we are having a fish fry. Fish fry? And uh, talking about progress in the black community, I am drinking a black velvet, which is um, cider and Guinness together. And Donovan is drinking a uh, dragon's milk, which is like a aged stout beer. Barrel aged. Barrel, barrel aged barrel. stout. Oh, bourbon barrel. Oh, bourbon barrel. barrel. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all the words for that. <clears throat> so welcome in. Um, the question posed, well, we had a few questions. How do you feel about um, the progression in the Black community? Have we progressed? Have we not progressed? And also, my other question was, um, do you celebrate the 4th of July? Do you celebrate Juneteenth? Do you celebrate both? Do you celebrate neither? Uh, whatever. Like, <laughs> Which one is? Where you at, fam? Or how do you feel about people not celebrating the Fourth of July? All of a sudden, now that there's Juneteenth, that's kind of weird. But anyway, um, there were black soldiers that helped win that war too. So I celebrate Fourth of July. Much of this country was built on my ancestors' backs to not call myself American. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I personally agree. I think that we're still Americans, even though, <laughs> yeah, the the white Americans weren't very nice to us. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, we still needed independence from England in order to be a country. So everybody did, <laughs> right? Everybody like, did. Well, I mean, we all needed that at the end of the day. So <clears throat> you know, and like you said, you know, there's black people who were fighting for our rights as well fighting for our freedom, so we supposed to just give up on all of that that they did as well, so um, yes, very good point, I agree. Fam, so as you see on the screen, Catfish is cooking. Um, yeah, we hadn't necessarily touched that group or, or that white just yet, but it's next up. Um, and another question is, um, how do y'all feel about, I don't know if y'all heard about, um, the black ice cream that Walmart put out. Oh man. The Juneteenth ice cream Come on, that was like red velvet and cheesecake flavor or something like that. Banana pudding or something. Um, I know red velvet was in there, but red velvet cake. But I can't remember what the other flavor was. Um, how do you guys feel about um, uh, I guess the profitability or the monetization of uh, Juneteenth 
as a holiday. Because I know that was a, a hot topic on social media. Um, in Texas, we've always celebrated both Juneteenth and the 4th of July. Even those who say they're not celebrating July 4th never decline the day off. <laughs> right. So are you going to give up your day off if you're not celebrating? Oh, no, baby. Yeah, okay. You're not going to go see fireworks? You're not going to have to cook out? You're not going to do none of that? Okay. I mean, if you do, you do. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but just saying. Um, let's be 100, right? Um, actually, now that you said that, it made me think of, I actually didn't know about Juneteenth in college because in college, they used to have a Juneteenth celebration all the time. Um, when I started going to Georgia State, because in Atlanta, you know, they ain't played it. So in Atlanta, they would always have a Juneteenth celebration. And I went I went one time. Um, so I actually knew about Juneteenth in college. But before that, I I may have known about it, but we definitely wasn't celebrating it. That's for sure. What's up, Delightful Dawn? What's up, Dawn? How's it going? What you have for dinner tonight? <clears throat> Y'all be holding out on us with this good food. So fam, off camera I snuck in some of this, uh, some of the crunch off the catfish. It got a nice <laughs> crunch to it, and it's uh, it got a nice kick to it. Like that hotter Texas beat is legit. It's legit. I rock. See y'all, I be up here working, and he hey, over there eating. Hey, I, I, I work. <laughs> I rock with that hotter Texas beat, fam. It got a nice kick to it. Uh, how do you feel about the uh, the Joe Team ice cream slash the monetization of Juneteenth. I mean, honestly, babe, for me, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. And I'm not like irate. So I feel like certain stuff would have kind of rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> like if it was uh, a watermelon and fried chicken, uh, flavored ice <laughs> right, cream, then I was like, weird. come on, man. What, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah, I feel just like very just plain out racist. But I mean, <laughs> Damn, they 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 try anything. Tree day, they'll sell you a tree. Yeah. Valentine's Day, they're gonna sell you candy. Freaking Teachers Day, they're gonna sell you teachers like this. That's what I'm saying. If it's a national holiday, they're going to monetize it. So that part, I can't. I can't just say that. <laughs> oh well, they were just completely wrong. Whatever, whatever. Like I can't even put that on them because I don't know that that's the case, but. Because they're they are going to monetize it. If it's monetizable, they're gonna try to make some money off of it. Which some people were saying that they should um basically push black businesses. So there's like a black ice cream, they should be pushing that one and not like creating their own to make profit off of it. That's not how that's not exactly, how this works. But come on. That's not how this works at all. <laughs> that's not going. <more>. Yeah. <laughs> It may so, start that way, but then they're just going to buy the black business or whatever, whatever. Everything gets replicated. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, for us, I mean, as consumers, I feel like we should, you know, buy from black businesses, buy the black ice cream company, buy, you know, black uh, for Juneteenth. Um, but as far as forcing each company to push black business or all these for stores to push the black products, like I just yeah, I don't, I don't see know. that happening. I don't know, fam. I don't know and, if you like the stretch. Yeah, I mean to your point, like Walmart duplicates everything. Everything. Like they have their own brand. And you got McCormick's, then you got great value. That's just how it goes. <laughs> exactly. That's how it goes. For every single product. Like they have great value. Son. So it's not like they've never done that before and they just started going into black people. Like they've been ripping people out. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good point that Shy made. Uh, you know, people be real quick to be like, oh, I'm not doing this. Oh, I'm not doing that. Oh, I'm not supporting this. Oh, I'm not supporting that. And it's like, okay, let's let's think about it. Just calm down a little bit. <laughs> Hold your <on. laughs> It's so quick to react. You not even think about what's actually going on. But you know what I'm saying. 
Um, Lonnie said, if you look at the family structure of the 50s, our children as a whole are at a loss. I work with children in the church and I see the effects of the lack of parental guidance. Okay. Okay. All right, Lonnie. You're going you gonna to make us work tonight, baby. Yeah, I mean. We're going deep. Yeah, I feel like that's a whole other topic. <laughs> children, like, and this new... These new generations that are coming are like, whew. and but it's like they say that every generation, like, oh, the next generation is just trash, and blah, you know, saying they're not doing this, they're not doing that, they're not gonna make it, blah blah blah. Um, so I don't know if I'm just saying that because <laughs> that's just what you say, but I do feel like these next generations are pretty just lost <laughs> in the world and just very reactive very short attention span it's very they just want to do what they want to do and they have no respect for person anyway. but like i said that's probably a whole nother topic for a whole other yeah my black universe what's up fam where you been bro <laughs> i'll drink to that what you drinking on mama this is a black velvet. It sounds real sexy, don't it? They do. I kind of like it, right? They <laughs> don't like the fact that it's dark. And uh, that would be a stout and a cider mixed together. If you like ciders, this is definitely one of my favorites. The Stella Artois. Fam, I don't even Cider. like ciders. I don't like ciders at all. But I like Stella C today. Yeah, he'll drink all my freaking yeah. ciders. He don't even like them. I'll drink them. I don't like ciders at all. So, yeah, they're really good. Um, and the, what's it called? There? What's that? The pumpkin one or what? Um, I don't have it. If you want to ask like, me <laughs> Oh, McKenzie's. McKenzie's. It is McKenzie's. Yeah. McKenzie's pumpkin cider, which I think only kind of comes out in the fall. Oh, my God. It's so good. That made me feel different. So, so fam, we um we did kind of a country fry on this catfish, and we have our last piece down right now. We're gonna switch into the whiting and the grouper, and for those, we're actually just gonna use that spice added seafood breading, um, none of the mustard and hot sauce, because I wanted those catfish to have a country fry on it. Yes, sir. And that crunch is so good. Ain't gonna be no fish left by the time. Uh, Y'all know how these black people be when they be cooking. They be eating half the food. Be <laughs> so hey. then by the time it's time hey. to sit down and eat, they be like, hey. food. You told me, you told me, you told me we was having we was having a fish fry, baby girl. <laughs> I thought that I thought that meant I could go in full fish fry mode. <laughs> 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 Ooh, Uh, Team Reese, I just want these companies to make changes that actually benefit the black community, not just slap a Juneteenth label on something, call themselves inclusive, and make a coin off of it. Mm. Okay, okay. All right, Team Reese. Good point, good point. Y'all good, boy. <laughs> y'all know how to prove y'all point. Um, that makes perfect sense. I mean... Like you said, some of this stuff isn't actually thought out. They just trying to hurry up and do something because it's hot right now. And so it's like, oh yeah, just throw your teeth on it and don't buy it. <laughs> it's like, oh, let's put a little bit more thought into it um, and possibly use it to, you know, help the black community in some kind of way, seeing as though most of your customers are black. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I get it. I feel like they definitely shouldn't just be throwing stuff together and calling it, you know, oh yeah, we we love the black community now. So, you know, so. Uh, Lonnie said, I celebrate both, but truly my heart hasn't been in the fourth for a while. I agree, like, well, really, I've never really been that big in the fourth of July, like, 
just super patriotic and putting flags everywhere and like sometimes I'll dress red, white, well, blue, I feel like, like shirt or something. But I feel like for me, the fourth hit different, like during the nine eleven period. Yeah, that's when it was like really like, like everybody me, was patriotic. <laughs> yeah, and I had four or five years that like. Bro, the fourth was like, all right, we're here, fam. We're here. Yeah, I feel like if something happens, that's kind of when, like, the country kind of comes together and <laughs> it's, like, more gung-ho about the 4th of July. But, like, you know, for the most part, I've never been, like, super deep into it. Like, it's usually just, like, a day that I can do fireworks, <laughs> watch fireworks, yep. do your own fireworks. Yep. You know, let the kids throw the little poppers and stuff like that. Like, that's pretty much <laughs> what it is. And like I said, a day off of work, you just be happy to not be at work. Um, so, you know, I've never been like super patriotic or anything anyway. But, you know, I don't just completely disregard the holiday. But, but, but. <laughs> yes, there's been sales since the beginning of time nothing is sacred oh no nah. i'm talking about nothing is off <laughs> right exactly no monetize anything yeah nothing is off limits. sadly even charities like red cross are profitable exactly Ooh. when we talked about that hey y'all on uh, big talk tonight fam. Right, y'all coming with the heat y'all right. on big talk tonight fam we don't we don't got the red cross too <laughs> Yeah, because um, nobody say. When did we talk about that? Coach. I can't remember, but one of the uh, lives we did, we were talking about charity oh, yeah, we and were. how they be profiting. We were. We oh, were. no, we were talking about uh, yeah, Black Lives, Black Lives Matter. Matter. Yeah. So this was like a few weeks ago. Um, but yeah, we we're talking about Black Lives Matter and how um, the lady had made like millions of dollars and bought all these mansions and this and that. Mm -hmm. Off of the money from Black Lives Matter, and it was like, oh, so this is what we doing? <laughs> so yeah, to your point, like even these charities be making their money too. So oh yeah, hey, they gonna get their coins, man. That's yeah, because you don't know about it. Don't get it on it because they gonna get their coins. Everybody gonna get their coins. We live in a capitalist society. So everything's man, monetized. I'm gonna work on the widen in the grouper off of coach camp and then you can start working on um oh yeah i forgot i had to make tarts yeah, yeah. <laughs> i got excited you can, uh, you can start working <laughs> bam bam she can start working on her floor right there i forgot i had to cook for you guys <laughs> i forgot we was here to cook I yeah hey we yeah. cooking mate we uh you know we talking too but we gotta cook right gotcha gotcha all right um <laughs> So um, let me look up my little recipe because um, actually, shoot. I don't think I Bam, so I did like a country fry on that catfish because the catfish seemed like a good old country fried catfish to me. And that baby got a kick. I really, really, really love how that crunch turned out. Um, for the whiting and the grouper, it's going to be just straight flour mixture. Um, and then straight into the grease. So that's what you guys are going to see me doing over here. And then the Stacy is going to get, um, live for you guys and work on some tartar sauce and some coleslaw. All right. Uh, I can use this. Use whatever you want, mama. Okay. So I'm going to use this bowl for my, uh, tartar sauce. Uh, really? I probably should make the coleslaw for really should make the coleslaw like the day before or like earlier in the day so that it can go in the fridge and like marinate, get all them juices flowing and uh cool off and not be like warm. <laughs> but for live purposes, that's not what we're doing. So hey. I'm going to make my tartar sauce first. Oh uh, all right, so I've got my mayo. Oh, uh, so you want to do one cup of mayo. Oh, uh, 
Never. Oh, yeah. Good. All right. Oh, let me turn the uh, what's going on so y'all can see what I'm doing. I couldn't see what. No, y'all couldn't even see that. All right, that's my little bowl. So I'm gonna put my mayonnaise in. And then half a cup of my dill relish. So unless you want sweet tater sauce, make sure you don't get the sweet relish. <laughs> I like mine to have a little bit of sweet to it. Too. Yeah, low key, I'm just eyeballing it because I'm being lazy. Um, oh, shoot, what I didn't get though. So I didn't get the capers. You really should have capers, but uh, I forgot about that. And I don't think we have it here. All right, and then I'm going to do um, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. <laughs> What's up, me and I? Me and I in the building. So they've been watching from the TV. That's what's up. All right. We'll I see. see I see you big screen. <laughs> I see you making screen. You see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please share this. And if you haven't hit that like button, make sure you do. Um, like it, share it out. Uh, we having a fish fry tonight. Y'all know. Uh, then fish fries, you tell everybody, everybody in their mom show up who wasn't invited. <laughs> that part. Uh, people's uh, girlfriend that they just met two weeks ago. Oh, no, up. babe. Y'all showing up tonight. <laughs> People, uh, boyfriend number two showing up. And then the old lady talking about, who that? <laughs> <laughs> right. And then the, uh, grandma be like, that don't look like uh, so and so. And right in his face. <laughs> Are you uh so and so? You Roger? No, Grandma. <laughs> Me and Roger don't talk no more. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. um, put a little bit of green onion or shallots. You can do as well. Gotta cut these up. Can I use this? I cut fish with that. Uh, oh, I didn't cut anything. So yellow. I'll cut these up. They are very emotional and unable to make proper decisions, but yeah, that's my soapbox. Forgive me. <laughs> yeah, um, these kids, they different. They real different these days. Uh, I used to teach, and uh, when I saw how these kids act, I said, "Oh, gotta go." You gotta go, yeah. <laughs> I changed my career that day. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey, that's a whole story, fam. We're gonna save that for another day. <laughs> that's a whole story. That's a story. <laughs> that's a whole story. Let's uh, let's get you out of teaching with. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was pretty shady, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, that's a whole story, man. It, it had to be done. Yeah. We have to do a story time. Hey, we will, we will. Hey, big thanks on that one. Y'all stay tuned, because that was that was impressive. Y'all want us to do a live on changing your career? We can do that. because uh, I know a lot of people actually randomly want to know about that. Um uh, and we we both kind of went through career changes, so yeah, yeah that'd be a dope vibe. Yeah, Donovan did too. So, uh, 
We can talk about that one day. So got my green onions in there. I need some lemon juice. So I'm gonna do about half a lemon. And then that's what make it tart. That lemon make it tart, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why it's called tartar. All right. <laughs> and then they said a little Tabasco sauce, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this uh Texas hotter than hot hot sauce. <clears throat> I never had hot tartar sauce. And I'm just gonna whisk this together. Oh yeah. That looks like tartar sauce. Look like tartar. What does it smell like? Smell like tartar. What does it taste like? Taste like <laughs> yeah. money. I think I need a little uh, pepper and salt and pepper in there. Okay. But other than that, it's actually pretty good. Can you get the salt for me? I don't see you What's up, baby? What's up, little mama? What's up, little mama? Adventures? <laughs> How you doing tonight? Happy hump? Hey! Uh, I think they just took Juneteenth and slapped the Pride label on. Oh. It was just marketing, not support. Yeah. Oh, man, y'all talking tonight, boy. Dang. <laughs> Y'all calling these people out. Dang, boy. Y'all came to slay, boy. <laughs> Y'all ain't Let, no prisoners. Last fish going down, fam. Last fish going down. You want me some salt? Uh, I didn't get you anything. Yeah. Right there. I'm going to open this stuff. Oh, there we go. All right, put a little uh, pepper. <laughs> Is that onion powder in there? Like my girl's on? Let's see, man. Let's see what we got, man. Let's do a little Himalayan sauce. Mommy got me working. Oh, little girl. Let's mix that. Taste. Yeah, we're cooking now. We're cooking, man. Oh. This way everywhere, but that's good. Mm. Woo! Nice and tart. <laughs> All right, uh, take a little bowl. Oh. Uh, bowl for Coco. All right, so I'm going to make the coleslaw next. Uh, How big you want, Mom? Bigger than this? Well, I'll get that one. That black velvet took Stacy on a detour. She forgot she was cooking. 
<laughs> you said hey, that. Hey, fam, y'all see me? I had an A-Bay, so um, I'm going to keep on cooking over here. And she going to get right there to cook because I don't know what she got going on. I'm not even going to lie, y'all. <laughs> this velvet right here, boy. Make it to a whole other point. It's good though, y'all. I might need to try to. It's a, uh, it's the best kept secret, really. Yep, they've been hiding out. <laughs> That's something else they don't want y'all to know. Oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Sean said, my boyfriend number two. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Sha, you start pulling up with everybody when you, you get around foul, foul. Mm. Hey, but the old ladies are telling me, uh, Jason, is that you, Jason? <laughs> my name is Ron. <laughs> what you, what, who is Jason? Oh, no, my cousin. Don't worry about it. That's my cousin. That's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you looked a little scrawny. Like, God, <laughs> You used to be a big burly man, Jason. <laughs> All the muscles, like the muscles. <laughs> oh Lord. Um, taking huge plates and then bring left to right. <laughs> it's funny how a lot of people be leaving out with plates, but uh, come, come on with... now, come on, fam, <laughs> come on, fam. It came real empty-handed, but uh, left out with everything. With a bag on hard food. Ba uh, bags and all. Okay. Yeah. Where do you get bags? From? I'm bags <laughs> and and to go plates like like the uh, yeah, cafeteria right. kind, the, the cloud shelf. They brought them with them. Yeah. <laughs> Walking with bags. They, and they brought those, but didn't bring anything for everybody else. To eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, the main ones have a good old curl. Yeah. Love and life. Yes, Lonnie, I like. We'll have to do a story time because I was like, uh uh. But, uh it's been real, it's been fun, but I got to go. Lonnie, we had the finagle. Y'all ain't finna kill me. Lonnie, we had the finagle. You hear me? I ain't a slave. You hear no me? No. I ain't a slave no more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's up, love to travel? Love to travel. What's up, Jeffrey's Angel? Not Jeffrey's Angel in the building. Y'all hear me? I'm the twerk queen. I'm going to teach everybody how to twerk. <laughs> I need to get my fedora out. Y'all see me twerking? Y'all see me twerking? Y'all see me twerking? This ain't no jokey joke. Fam, we got jalapeno hush puppies going down. And Stacy is eventually going to make coleslaw. Yeah, eventually. So, um, <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to read a few statistics for y'all. And then while we are discussing, I will make the coleslaw, even though I don't even know how to make it. You got to work. Well, it's really actually it's very easy. I think it's just um, mayonnaise, um, Alexa. sugar, and vinegar. Three minutes. And maybe a Three little minutes. bit of lemon juice. Starting now. It's real easy to make coleslaw. <clears throat> um, all right, so one of the statistics says in 1940, 60% of employed black women worked as domestic servants. Today, the number is down to 2.2%, .2 while 60% hold white collar jobs. So, <clears throat> those of you, well, not those of you, but people who say that. Um, you know, black women aren't progressing. Absolutely. Like, we used to be working in the home <clears throat> or in the field. And now we got white collar jobs. Owning the home. We Come got, on, right, man. We got women Come on, taking man. care of the whole household. Like, we got women with houses and cars that they own. Like, yeah. degrees, education. Progression. Facts. Like Facts. everything, Facts. period. So uh, don't get it twisted. These black people out here, uh, well, black women is specifically <laughs> out here uh, making moves. So 
Don't get it twisted. Uh, so another one was 44% of whites said they would move if a black family member, I mean, a black family became their next door neighbor. Today, the figure is 1% of white people say they would move. If a black All right. All right. Progression. Progression. So uh, what y'all think about that? Do y'all think that's true? Like, and I, I can remember that, like, back in the day where it was like, was that one black family moved into the neighborhood? All the white people moved out. And, like, you remember that? Yeah, yeah. And uh, there goes the neighborhood. And it's crazy. Yeah, they say, there goes the neighborhood. So we got me, moved. I'm from, I'm from Augusta. Um, and it's like different sides of town. It's just wild, man. Different sides of town, like the the affluent um, or the wealthy people, they lived in. You know, as I grew up, it just moved, and it depended on you know where people of color were moving. Um, the people with wealth, they were moving in the opposite direction. So it was uh, <laughs> it was definitely definitely very much like that growing up. Do y'all um do y'all live in a neighborhood that is predominantly black, predominantly white? Is it mixed? Do y'all feel like neighborhoods are starting to like mix a little bit now? Or do you feel like it's still segregated? Uh, like neighborhoods are segregated? Alexa, stop. No, I definitely feel about? like I feel like um there are mixes, but right? there are some neighborhoods that for whatever reason, there are barriers to entry, um, be it money, be it this, be it that, be it country club membership, that type of thing, whatever it may be. But I definitely think that the mix is way better. Like, uh -huh. I definitely, and I, I'll stand on that one. There are some little pockets, but now you just, you, you freaking don't, you don't know what you're going to get. Right. You don't feel like, oh, uh, I might not be able to go in that neighborhood because it's all white people. Like, you don't really think like that no more. Nah, I don't. It's like, shoot, if I like it, then that's where I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to double check my uh, recipe, guys. Hush puppies are up, and these are jalapeno hush puppies. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, I put in like a cup of mayonnaise. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And I have to open it. Hello, hello, love to travel, love to travel. People saying hello, hello. All right. I'll put uh, two teaspoons of sugar. Lonnie said that white flight is what that is called. From growing up. <laughs> Me and I. <laughs> Me, hey, it's probably Anwar. I'm not fooling with y'all, bro. I am not fooling with y'all. All right, Lonnie. Mixed neighborhood, no doubt. Yeah, well, that's good. 100%. No, it's it's great, man. It's great when it's done right. Great when it's done right. Jeffrey's Angel. I remember when we first moved to Alabama from Michigan. Oh, that's a big difference. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big difference. Jeez, Drastic, fam. 
We were the third black family in our neighborhood. No. KK. Oh, Lord. What? They had KKK in that neighborhood. I'm so sorry to hear that, Jeffrey's Angel. That's uh. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, no, that's different. That's different. I'm scared. That's different. I uh, love to travel. Mixed. Growing up in the Caribbean, uh, we don't have white, black, or Hispanic neighborhoods. It's just a community. No, that sounds dope, man. Yeah. And that that's sounds the thing, dope. Like, that's what they be saying in other countries. Like, they don't be doing all this. Yeah, man. Like, even this people, like, you know, just don't get from me. No, I love the way that sounds. Love to travel. Uh, Jeffrey's Angel again, live in a mixed neighborhood. However, we don't have um, only a few kids that live there. So my youngest does not have any friends uh, that live here. Now that's tough, man. Nobody to play with. Definitely tough. Um, but I wonder, Jeffrey's Angel, how are you like navigating that? Like, what are you doing to um, to help your youngest? You know, have something to do on a daily basis and friends to play with. We still look at our demographics uh, of area before we look at our houses. We're looking to relocate in the fall. Okay. All right. No okay. doubt. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, shoot. Got to do what you got to do. 100%. Make it work. 100%. We got you. We read you, Lonnie, in the fall. We got you. We, um, we actually live in, like, a predominantly black community. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like a middle class community and um which you know you more so kind of only see like in atlanta <laughs> or other like <laughs> high black uh population but we actually i don't know do we have anyone i would say we do um maybe one or two yeah it's just uh just a couple just a couple <laughs> yeah like it was just a sprinkle of Jeffrey's Angel uh, commented on love to travel as well. Um, I always tell my kids that only in America we go based off race. Other countries categorize you by the country you live in. No doubt. No doubt. It's all just one band, one sound in other places. There is some racism there as well. Um, but, man, just not, not how it's deep-rooted here. Mm -hmm. YFC, our community is mixed. And it's good to see children of all races playing together outside of various homes. No doubt, oh, man. That's cool. That is seeing the babies like just not care. We here to play, man. Come and that's on. the thing, like come on. The kids don't care. That's what that's, they don't that's care. That's a whole other topic. They don't but, care, bro. <laughs> like that's how you know that like racism is taught because the kids. If you look at the kids, they could care less. The babies don't care at all, man. Who you are, like. Even, I'm trying to, price, in my mind, fam, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to plate all this different stuff we got. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff. We got like a bunch of different stuff, fam. I'm trying to figure out how we're going to uh, how we mesh all this together into a uh, a sexy combination. This, uh, what's this? <laughs> we'll call it relish. <laughs> this coleslaw, coleslaw is good. Are you never drinking that black velvet again? What you mean? <laughs> uh, you off black velvet duty. Oh my god. If that uh, one little cup got me there, shoot. That's, how, uh, that's all I'm drinking. That's how that dragon will be. <laughs> um, I'm being a little odd and adding a little, a little bit of this pickle in there. But uh, you don't have to do this. <laughs> Who y'all think had the best coleslaw? Ooh. And do y'all like coleslaw? So I think I think word on the street is that uh KFC be making noise. Oh really? That's what I think. So when you you know people be like searching for um KFC's recipe, that type of thing. So it's uh okay. they, they KFC. So got, KFC got the best coleslaw. They got something different for you, boy. So there's this place called um, Bay Breeze near us. It's like, it's kind of a franchise because they have like a Bay Breeze, a Sea Breeze, a This Breeze, a Matt Breeze. Um, and it's like a seafood restaurant. They, they, they like, got all types of breezes, but. Anyways, they have like the best coleslaw that I like. 
Like it's a very like sweet coleslaw. And it's like the little, like little chunks of cabbage or whatever. Like the chopped cabbage, I guess I should say. Um, and it's really good. That's like one of my favorites. I don't really eat coleslaw that much, but when I do, I like theirs and I like it with hush puppies. <laughs> like I gotta have hush puppies if I got coleslaw. Uh, clean up this space a little bit. Here. Trying to figure out how to get us a sexy plate, fam. So we got a lot going on. He has summer camp right now. He has friends at his other school. He attends a magnet school. Ah. So he has friends that he meets up with for extracurricular activities. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. So, yeah, I, under, I understand that one. I went to um, a private school <clears throat> for elementary, and yeah, it's the black people just kind of sprinkled in there. <laughs> it's like the one black kid in class. Like that. Exactly. Children don't see race. At all, man. Nor should anybody, bro. So pure, and they know what it is. Um, yeah, because Jeffrey's angel said kids definitely don't care. My kids used to attend a predominantly white school. The kids didn't care. However, you could tell that the parents did. My son's girlfriend's grandparents did not want got cut off. Oh, did not want them to date. Yeah, so that's what I said. It's usually like the parents <laughs> who have the issue and then they're teaching their kids that oh, this is an issue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So <clears throat> for sure, like that uh like I, said, I don't even want to get into that that would be another live but uh yeah i personally believe that all of that is taught okay so her parents didn't care just the grandparents so okay so yeah yeah, you know, the older they are, the more they're not really in tune with <laughs> how the world has changed. <clears throat> or they just don't want the world changed. Ooh. Man, y'all talking big talk tonight, boy. <laughs> y'all are talking big talk tonight, man. I'm talking about um, big talk. I didn't even know what was going in like this tonight. Right. I didn't really know it was gonna be that uh deep. Nobody <laughs> told me. Fam, nobody told me. Y'all gonna have to uh y'all gonna have to send me a warning next time, man. Mm -hmm. And that's like there's so much more we can dig into with all of this. Um, so definitely come back next week. <clears throat> Maybe we'll keep talking about this topic or we'll see what happens between now and then. It might be another topic that we need to talk about. But this is what we do every single week, Wednesday, every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. We come, we cook, we talk, we <clears throat> discuss. This is an open forum for everybody to uh, voice their opinions. And uh, we just want it to feel like you right here in the kitchen with us. Because you are, fam. That's how it is. You right here on the right. other side. Because y'all are family and uh, we just in the kitchen talking, having a good time. And cook. <laughs> yep. Let's talk. They don't want y'all to know that. that. Well, for one, they want y'all to think racism doesn't exist, but that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> whole nother thing. We play in y'all. You already know. What do they make? I think I am mixed with every race possible. I do tell people I'm 50% black and 49% negro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> so there's a difference. <laughs> they could fight over the other 1%. Oh, Lord. Lord Jesus. I can't with you, uh, Angel. Angel, man, you are a kick in the pants. Say email her a plate. <laughs> 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 
Go ahead and take a screenshot. <laughs> uh, admire it. <laughs> Up a little bit as we come to an end. Uh, they have to because they are the teacher. Uh, on this one. Uh, I might have missed something because I'm quite confused. Um, food looks great. In my Tony voice, great. Great. <laughs> Appreciate it. So we got, uh, you know, with the different fishing. <laughs> so we got some country fried catfish. And again, that crust on there, that's mustard and the hotter than hot uh, Texas beet hot stuff. Um, we got the grouper and we got some whiting as well. Um, then we got our coleslaw back here. Which I didn't garnish well enough, but that's okay because we live for the five. Um, and then uh, yeah, then we got this homemade tartar sauce that Mama made, and uh, we got good eating, fam. I mean, we got the uh, only thing we missing is the chip. Only thing we missing is the chip. Go for it. Stacy, Stacy says she got to add, uh, add one more garnish. I'm um, right there, the other one. She's coming through one more garnish for her. Talking about definitely live. All the way live. Man, fam, it's been so much fun kicking it with y'all tonight, frying this fish, talking about uh, the oil ladies calling you out because you don't brought a different dude through. <laughs> Boyfriend number two. Boyfriend number two. I said, I'll take a two piece catfish, a leg plate, a whole side, <laughs> and we go outside. <laughs> Order up. Hey. <laughs> Um, uh, get y'all to go plate. <laughs> <laughs> go find to go plate. <laughs> if you be having something for their kids and everything, I'm talking about everything. Why like, do you need a whole plate full of food? Don't, don't. All, all he eat is hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know he ain't eating that. <laughs> oh, I got five kids. They need no, we we both know that all he <laughs> eat is <laughs> hamburgers <laughs> and pizza. We know you can eat that. Plate, bro. Oh, you going to bring it to uh, boyfriend number one? Hey, hey, and then when you call him out, yep, I got lunch for Monday and Tuesday, and he go lunch for Wednesday. All right, all right, <laughs> right. I got lunch for the week. All right, pal. All right, pal. That part. Um, but fam, it's Wednesday, hump day. You already know how we do. Lock in with us. You are right on the other side of this island, fam. We talk, we cook, we lay it down. And we have a good time. I appreciate and I love y'all. Y'all could have been anywhere, but y'all locked in with us. Still got nine real homies in the crib. Uh-oh. <laughs> and, and, her, and her PBT voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we probably got a few on Facebook, too. Thank you so much for our Facebook watchers. We are live on Facebook and YouTube. Yep. So uh, feel free to uh, lock in on Facebook if you uh, want to. Yep. And if you are on Facebook and you want to see other great content just like this, us cooking, um, us throwing down, us going ham in the kitchen, but make sure that you guys go over to our YouTube channel and look us up right now. It's Keeping Up With The Catrins. We need to change to uh, Cooking With The Catrins and look at all of our different videos, all of our recipes. We stay hype, we stay energetic, and we stay whipping up recipes and making stuff simple that may seem like yes, me and I, we are live on Facebook right now as well. So. Again, make sure you follow us on Facebook at Spice Addict uh, Shop Spice Addicts. Mm -hmm. And we go live on there. If you're following us, um, it'll send you notifications when we go live. Um, also, follow our Instagram at Spice Addicts underscore. 
um, as well as keeping up with the catch-up, which I guess we'll soon be cooking with the catch-up. Um, so if you weren't here last week, we told you guys that we were rebranding and we're changing our name to Cooking with the Catron. That we are. So that one will be coming probably. We'll just say soon. Yeah, very, very, very soon. Probably, probably the end of the week. <laughs> um, but uh, yes, make sure you check out our Etsy shop. Thank you, Lonnie. Uh, thank you, My Black Universe. You already know how we do. Uh, if y'all don't follow my black universe, y'all need to head over there. Like uh, he be dropping uh, recipes with Spice Addicts products all the time on Facebook, um, on YouTube. So uh, go check him out because he be coming up fire and he be holding out on y'all. He really can cook. <laughs> <laughs> that part. So uh, check out some of his videos. He done made wings. He done made uh, like chicken tenders, nachos, all kinds of stuff. I'm like, oh. Okay. He throw down. Excuse me. He throw down over there, fam. <laughs> you want some virtual fish? <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. So yeah, share this out because like I said, every Wednesday we will be here. Great time. Yes. Thank you guys for coming through. It's been um a good night. Uh we're actually about to head to a birthday party. <laughs> In the middle of the week. In the middle of the um, week, in the middle of the night. <laughs> randomly. But, um, that support be real. But please believe we was going to be here with y'all tonight. And um, we weren't going to miss this. What's up, uh, Kiana? Hey. Yes, welcome. Come on through. Come see us next week on Wednesday. Next week we will be cooking. I don't remember. Hibachi. Yes, we will. We're making hibachi next week, y'all. So if y'all like hibachi, y'all like fried rice, y'all like, I don't even know, I don't know if we're making chicken or what, but. Um, Just know we whipping and we talking that big talk and good talk because you're right on the other side of this island. Who else is putting you on the other side of the island as they whip up, they plate up, they show you what they're doing. Come on, fam, lock in, lock in. And if you're on Facebook, go subscribe on YouTube because okay. this is what we do. That's Jeffrey Bango on Facebook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what's up. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Our uh I'm telling y'all, our seasonings will not disappoint. Gonna be lit. Big facts. Yes, comfort of hibachi next week. Um uh, we're gonna be using spice addicts product. Yep, you already know what it do, baby. We're gonna be able to do it too. Yes, ma'am. But all right, y'all, we're about to head out. Love y'all. Much uh, peace to the Middle East. And we yeah.